Guys, just take a show of hands to come to as many of you as possible. Somewhere to start, please. Anywhere to start, please. It's going to be a short press conference. James, thank you. Uh, your, uh, your views on that? Um, you happy with the draw? Or was that one that you really needed to win? Well, we prefer to win, obviously. But I take the point, yeah. Uh, tight game. Uh, recognize my team, so proud. So, we did to try it. Uh, they allow you to go to our left side, aside from Odegaard and, and Saka, and after they make an incredible high pressing, we made quite good and build ups. And after we contact with the last line, so they drop really well. <coughs> All their habits with Rodri really close to Jorginho rise in the spaces is not difficult to find it. And they defend low block really, really well. You cannot press much because the high press is mainly long balls, but with Harvard and rise and Gabriel, especially in, right, in the left side with Rico, they are strong, but Manu, Ruben, Rodri, everyone was unbelievable. We were, we were a moment that we talk about a lot, so second balls is really, really important against Arsenal. They are really good when Rogain, they attack quick, and the chances they have in the first half, we, they pressed really well, we lost some balls. And the second half, we were, yeah, one or two transition. I could not expect more, you know, just see Arsenal, what the amount of goals they score, and we could see few. And we didn't <coughs> create much, but it was almost actions, almost actions. But they defend really well, low block, solidarity. Uh, it's not easy to break them, but we tried. That's why I recognize the intention. The intention that we had was there, and we take the point, nine, po nine games. Uh, we see what happens. So the only thing we can do is refresh, <coughs> mind, <laughs> legs, and go on to next <coughs> Wednesday, <laughs> Aston Villa. Fred? Hi, Pat. Um, you, you just mentioned the low block. Um, when they hardly allow you to enter the box, what's the solution? Kill someone. Play with nine. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, they defend well a lot. So, a lot and so run early and yeah, be patient and find, you know, the pass size that when you arrive they defend really well. Let me accumulation of players defend well and after with a lot of people. So it's uh, always have been difficult and and they they yeah this these different ways. They did really well high pressing and after they defend really well. So when arriving the final third, the main target the opponent arrives, I have to say there's no conceded goal. It doesn't matter how many players you defend. With four or five, six, seven, eight, it's no conceded goal. This is the main target. And uh, and they did it well. <coughs> Ty. Hi, Pep. Arsenal seemed to really want to slow the game down today. There was lots of fouls, lots of kind of delay in the game, time wasting, things like that. When a team knocks you out of your rhythm like that, how hard is it for, for you guys to combat that? And what, what can you do to, to combat that? It's not my job. I control my team and, and the rest I don't know. So. Would you like to have seen maybe the referee take some no, 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 on no. those calls? Nothing to say, honestly. I think the game was, was clean. I think Anthony Taylor must be happy because nothing wrong happened. I think the game was was fine, well fight, and nothing wrong happened. Because normally it happened when the referees become more important than really the players are. And today it was perfect for both sides. The referee was, I think, really, really good. And, uh, and the players, both sides as well. Everyone defend the balls, everyone defend his position, but was was okay, so we thank his good job. About the, your question, I cannot say anything because it's not my in my sight. Richard. Hi, Pep. Um, City have only taken four points out um, against top five teams this season, and last season it was 16. Um, does that concern you, and what do you put it down to? Well, the numbers are here, but if you tell me except Arsenal away, the last games we played really, really good. Even in Anfield, I reviewed the game. It was the second half after goal conceded. They have their momentum, absolutely. But even that, we had our chances. <laughs> our chances. But the games we play against the top five, top six, I think Aston Villa away was the worst, but the rest we performed really, really well. The result sometimes outcome is what it is. But I have to analyze, <laughs> you know, uh, we have to analyze the performance, but of course, so. If you say four points comparing last season 16, it's a big difference. Um, Pep, um, what have these last two games against Liverpool and Arsenal told you about about the title race, about the quality of the teams? Who do you think is playing at the highest level? Right now? Man City. Yeah. 
You are, oh, your reaction, you are not agree. <laughs> I, I, I think Man City... You, you, you are not agree. <laughs> I, I, I think we've seen Man City play better than they have done the last... Six years? Yeah. Yeah, well, one five prime, yeah, right. Yeah. You pretend to stay six years playing 7-0 every game against Arsenal, this team, you play 3-4-0, so I'm sorry. So yeah. I'm not agreeing agree with you. So I think we recognize my team. The proposal, try to do, try to press high, try to put open in there and do it, concede few chances. So. Arsenal concede yeah, one or two crosses, and I as could expect it. Even the the corners normally average the corners from Arsenal is with eight, nine, or ten. But the way they monopolize the game, and normally when you are playing the final third, you have a lot of corners. Have three because we give it away. So that this balance is related uh, how you we try. That's why I said I recognize the team, but it's, it's difficult. Always have been. We play against low block sometimes, and it's difficult. And guys. Arsenal is an exceptional team, well managed, and the players are really, really, really good. But if you pretend as a manager during five years, always been exceptional every season, every game, I'm sorry, I was not born for that. Absolutely not. You have to knock the door another manager and try if he's able to do it, or team, team is able to do it. My point of view is still there. What we have done is still we are. And the team, in many things, okay, we could be cleaner or more. I don't know for the aspects, but I'm satisfied. I said to the team, so don't be sad, guys, because you d I know, I know, I know my players and how how they behave and how they try it. But I give credit, of course, Arsenal for the way the many good things they do. So, so do you feel the team is ready to do what you put on the floor and go on this? We not be, we will not be here. We will not be here. What do you mean, us? And semi-finals, FA Cup, and quarter-finals, the Champions League, and fighting against Liverpool and Arsenal. So I, I understand completely for the for the sense from the beginning. You no, know? like we won five Premier Leagues in six years, you have to win from ten points in front. But when you see Liverpool play, I said we cannot take ten points in front. When I see Arsenal play, we cannot take sixteen points in front. But yeah, they are really good. Jurgen and Mikel with the teams are exceptional, and the people from behind. Weston Villa or Tottenham or other teams are there, are really good too. So, but still we are there. So we have one to win, yeah. We play to win, yeah. We create more chances, not. They create a lot, no. So it was a tight game, yes. It was a battle, yes. Uh, mm, this is my feeling. Still I recognize, still how the way they're training after uh, the international break and, and everything. So what can I say is my opinion. I'm not granted. When I play bad, I said we are not good. When I play bad, I'm trying to be honest. But I recognize my team, we can create more, yeah, but it's difficult. The team's defend like this is difficult. Tom? Hi, Pep. Um, just asking him what's wrong with Nathan Ake, um, why he went I didn't off. ask, uh, it's, obviously he's out, something wrong happened, but I didn't ask to the doctors, not yet. And also about Rico Lewis coming on for him, had to play in a couple of different positions in a very intense game. Um, just your thoughts on Rico's display? He played really good. First moments to come in is not easy, but after the second half, and. So, yeah, it was really good. Jamie. Hi, Pep. Um, Liverpool now have um, the lead. Are they clear favourites or is that too simple? Yeah. Always his first is his favourite. In the second favourite is Arsenal. In the third, we are. Yeah. You've got 27 points left to play for. Are you slightly concerned you may run out of matches to catch? Sorry? Robert? Are you concerned that you've only got 27 points to play for, so you right. might run out is, of points? It's not in our hands. Only we can do is... Um, Aston Villa next game, try to, you know, to win the game. It's only we can do because always we were top of the league, we were the favourites. It was in our hands, now it's not. So it's simple. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you.